Anybody who can hurt a child is a coward and should be penalized and have the maximum of life in prison. Silent throughout the trial, but the father of Anaya Day Garrett finally gets to address her killers on their judgment day. And Michael Garrett did not hold back when he asked the judge for the maximum penalties for Sierra Day and Deontay Lewis. Nor did prosecutors who reminded everyone of the horrific images of abuse shown during this emotional trial. Yeah, Harry Boomer live at the Justice Center now with the results of Judgment Day. And Harry, I'd imagine it was just as much emotion today as there was during the trial. Actually, a lot more today, guys. Uh, we saw some real emotion from Michael uh, Garrett, uh, Anaya's father. But again, we saw no emotion from Sierra Day or Deontay Lewis. Uh, not really uh, any kind of emotion that would say, I'm sorry for what I did. You know, it took less than a day for the jury in this courtroom to find Sierra Day and Deontay Lewis guilty of the death of little Anaya Day Garrett. Today, as the mother and her boyfriend sat in the courtroom, they learned their fate. Sierra Day was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. She sat there and listened to her fate. Again, no expression, no seeming remorse. She even declined to comment to respond in her own defense. Deontay Lewis did choose to speak. He said he loved Anaya. That was in stark contrast of what the evidence showed, his callous disregard for her well-being over months of abuse, beatings, and her starvation death. Anaya's father, Michael Garrett, did take time to address the court, asking for behind the bars, life behind bars for both of them. Anna Feralia reminded everybody about the abuse little Anaya Day Garrett suffered. In my opinion, the death penalty would be fair. But then again, that would be too easy for the torture and death of a four-year-old child. These two murderers, these two monsters, ruined my entire life. Hmm. There are not enough words. Judge, they isolated her, they beat her. They let her lie in her own bed, laden with <coughs> urine. They didn't feed her, and you saw the malnutrition. Anaya Day looked like an Oshawa survivor, Your Honor. You could count each rib on that little body. And the assistant prosecutor uh, says that she will never forget the images that she saw during this trial. She also asked the judge to give them solitary confinement on the anniversary date of Anaya's death every year so they would remember without forgetting what horrible, horrible ways they treated her and how she died. Live at the Justice Center, Harry Boomer, Cleveland, 19. Harry, thank you. There's no question that this case has certainly been tough for everyone involved. Yeah, that trial was emotional for mm -hmm. sure. Sia New Yorker has been covering this as well. She was stationed outside the corner, uh, courtroom as people came out. Sia, what were they like? Tiffany and Chris, very, very emotional. When Michael Garrett came out of the courtroom, he had a squad of people behind him, friends, family, supporters, advocates, and for the first time in a long time, he smiled and said he believed that Anaya was smiling down too. Surrounded by those who have been supporting him from the very beginning of this tragic ordeal, Michael Garrett said that this moment was blessed and that he knows Anaya was here in spirit. Yes, I know my daughter is with each and every one of us every single moment, protecting us as an angel should and as an angel would. He told us that even though there was some justice today, he will still continue to fight for changes. The message I wanted to make clear was the beautiful angel and princess that Anaya Marie Garrett is, the four-year-old smart, intelligent little girl who tried to save her own life and told each and every person that encountered her that her life was in danger. Help me. I want the world to know that Anaya tried to save her own life and Anaya saved the world because changes are being made here in Cuyahoga County and around the world every day behind the death of my daughter. Assistant Prosecutor Anna Feralia says they were happy with the sentence, life in prison without parole for Sierra Day and life in prison with the possibility of parole after 20 years for Deontay Lewis. She says it sends a message to others who abuse children. This community is no longer going to tolerate 
this kind of behavior as parents. There are so many people out there that are willing to help. Garrett was also satisfied with the sentence as he continues to get justice for Anaya and other children in danger. We just want to make sure we bring change here in our community to protect our children. We want to bring change uh, all around the world. We want to make sure we bring awareness to the Anaya law um, and protect our children. We need our government officials, our state senators to help support the Anaya law is also. In his impact statement, Michael Garrett referenced Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and how he fought for justice until the end. And he says he's going to keep on fighting so that another child never has to go through this again. Getting answers in the Justice Center, CN New Yorker, Cleveland 19. All right, CN. Throughout the